Hey guys, Ed here, long time no video, right? So, I'm going to show you some things I got from, that I purchased while I was in Miami Federal Detention Center, Miami FTC. Uh, so, let's show you, because some people say, oh, you, knew, you weren't in prison? Yeah, I was in prison. I was in prison, falsely in prison, but I was in prison. I bought this Tupperware container, and you have to buy, if, if you ever go... To, uh, federal, you have to buy a Tupperware. You have to. Otherwise, you're not going to get cereal in the morning. And you're not going to get half the meals that, that don't come with a tray. And cere cereal. So, these I kind of... This one I already showed in another video. This is what the Dalantin came in. Even though Dalantin didn't help. They, I still took it anyway. Really fucked up my teeth. Here's another one because I finished the other packet. The other packet threw out. Ibuprofen 600s. This is the strongest medication you will get in in strongest pain medication you will get in, in federal, even in, in jail. Ibuprofen is the strongest you will ever get. Change my name. That's my code, my ID right there. C ten fourteen sixteen. Now, I kept asking, um, what, what? There's, there's a little tiny ass clock. I can't see. The cops did a real fucking job on stomping my face, and I have to wear these really powerful prescription lenses, and they're still not strong enough. So when you say to someone, hey, um, what time is it, man? Or, excuse me, what time is it? Man, go fuck yourself. Because you think, because most of them will think that you're checking them. Like, you know what time it is? Like, time to pay rent. Or they think, they, 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 they I was told it's called uh, getting checked. Like, it's not, a, so, either learn how to make your vision get better or, buy a watch so I bought a watch I mean not rich don't have money to spend but whatever so this is it's actually it's, it's actually the correct time I'm looking at the this is a Timex Ironman watch and a lot of them actually bought watches over and over like to have a collect I don't know if yet when you have nothing in 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 prison um there are some things like that like watch like you can buy a watch and buy it again when there's a new version out but if it's a version that you already have they won't let you have it um I guess you could buy shoes like some people in there have three or four pairs of, of nice shoes uh I was given flops flip for uh prison flops, I gave them away, I, I just, my feet burn, I, I, just, no, just, rat, just took the, the, the jumper, and, and tied it at the end, and, and did my best to just cover my feet with that, where are your shoes, where's your socks, um, I don't, I'm not wearing any of this shit, my neuropathy in my feet, like, right now, they're burning, Oh, I gotta move my, like, they're red, they're swollen right now. Turn on the air conditioning, because I don't want to take a Percocet. They're you know, not working. So, gotta watch. And this right here, um, I don't know if, I don't think I'm supposed to have this. Uh, some people get, are allowed to take their radios home and but anyway this let me take the silicone case off of it I bought it with and I bought the silicone case separately but on the same page of the commerce because I bought a radio and then they brought this guy in from the real federal prison across the building and they and and CEO Kroom was 
telling them, dude, you know, pick on that one. And I'll give you some extra snacks and shit. And he was taking the prison socks. I mean, but if I, I mean, jail, jail is worse. Gun club jail is worse. Prison socks just different. It's hard to, how to, well, you don't want to be in either. Where anywhere that they deny you the medication that keeps you alive, you don't you don't want to be in either situation. Or where you know they could bust you in the head with a with a lock. You know. So let me turn this on. I charged it up. It's a SanDisk cl uh, clip MP3 player. Right there, Crawford one one three nine eight zero one zero four, and I don't care if you guys know that. If if I ever get sent back to prison, I might get another number. But that right there is how people um how you can get uh commissary put in to your account. You give people that number, and then and then they put money into your commissary account. I bought some songs, but they, uh, what they what they have, I don't get why the the prisons don't get sued for editing. Um, when somebody makes a song, it's copyrighted. Even on here on YouTube, you know, you use somebody's song without their permission, it's copyright infringement, and you can lose your account. The 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 um. Anyway, they edit the music and they call it the clean version. I got... It. But anyway, it, it, it doesn't work. Turn it off. Oh, maybe it doesn't work. I, I've been messing with it. Um... Trying to hack it. Oh, I, I didn't think it. Maybe it works. But basically, it's it. It's uh, institutional. Here's the backing. It's institutionalized. The micro SD slot on it doesn't work. They disconnected it, and they put uh, programming on it so that it um every 14 days you gotta connect to the kiosk and because I can't get down the kiosk and you're not supposed to share your information I only shared my information with one other with one dude in there and uh, and uh, you know that, that's it you go downstairs and you know activate it for me but you need this in order to listen to the radio not just the radio because but to listen to the television, I mean, got to have this also, I mean, stress-wise, I don't have my medication for seizures, which is also the anxiety medication. And I'm in with 130, 440 people in a place that's not meant for more than like 80 to 100. So it's just loud as all else. Keep these in your earbuds. Crank it. It's rechargeable. The char charging dock was near my on the out small the outside of the room. First day I got this thing, somebody stole it. I mean, it was the one that the guard man. Just If it's working. Yeah, it's working. Holy shit. Excuse my language. It's actually working. So yeah, I guess the other day, I, um... Um... Yeah, it's working. All right, I didn't even know. Fuck, I'm, man, I am stupid. Right, uh, the last few weeks since I got this, I've been, um, been trying to get it to work, 
and it's but it's locked. It needs a kiosk. So I when I called uh, Sandisk, and they're like, we don't know. And I googled BOP unlock, and um, I try to. Uh, this is a Miami station. It's not working here. But this was the best station in Miami. It was... Uh, I think... Oh, wait. I can hear it. The shark. Alright, now let's see if... Now, this would have been great if books on here... If they had any books... See if um if there's any or if it deleted. Oh my god, they're in here. We own it fast and furious. I like the song stressed out. Boom 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 I heard words. Sing. Uh. Um. So, uh, bat. Um. So, what is this? Beastie Boys, you know, it's, the first time I ever heard the song was in uh, Star Trek Beyond, I'm like, oh man, I like that song, I know my planet, alright, so this thing works now, great, I, shit, I mean, it's good, although if I go to prison, I have to buy another one, because they don't allow, just out, they don't allow packages, so, uh, this thing is cool. Alright, I don't know how I unlocked it, but it says I have 190 days left on it until it locks again. So I have 190 days. Well, no, I don't have 190 days. I'm going to prison on the 18th, June 18th. Fucking quarter point made it so that, not that I'm going to any prison, but that I'm going to a mental prison. Which is fucking worse. It's basically gonna be, uh, um, either gonna be Butner, North Carolina, or he keeps trying to put in that I don't leave the state of Florida, in which case then it's gonna be a, a maximum security deal. Cause. Um, I can't share the music of, of this thing, otherwise, copyright infringement. But yeah, getting, you need the silicone case, absolutely, because people slap the shit out, out of your hand if you're holding it, if you have it clipped onto you, they'll, you know, oh, assholes. Oh yeah, and, there's a, and there is a way to... You, you don't ever have to fight somebody. I mean, a lot of ways you do, but... Shut this up. Another thing I got from... That when I got out and went to the hospital... To get checked up on... I was in the hospital for four weeks. Mastoidosis. Which is still affecting me. I was just in the hospital last... It's been a month and a half since I got it again. They want to do if I if I get it one more time. I mean, I'm getting I'm going to the ear, ear nose, and throat doctor every other week, getting my ears sucked out. I mean, if I get it one more time, because it's it's on the same level as. I mean, it could kill you. Just, 
they, they want to drill out the side of my skull and take and remove my eardrum. The mastoids are like a, a honeycomb. Uh, a, a air moves in in and out, and uh, bacteria get gets in there. The bacteria bacteria got in there, and it's just fucked up. Uh, the, the, the one of the doctors, the specialist for uh, disease control. Sp- uh, what the fuck is this title again? Anyway, the disease specialist came in. Infectious disease specialist came in, and um, they came. They actually came to the house and did, you know, and did some checking. It's in the water. It said it, that the bacterium is in the water. So that fucking sucks because I I never drink the water in the house. I, I get very sick from drinking the water. So but now I also can't. I mean, I use earbuds. And I also have this thing that looks like a bra. That it's uh, it's called a band aid or whatever. It looks like a bra. It goes on both ears. It's supposed to help keep water out, but it doesn't matter. It's still, I mean, water on your hair drips in the, you know. So yeah, if you ever go to prison. Need to, you need to get a watch, and don't get the radio. The radio is a uh, is, is fifty dollars. The MP3 player is ninety dollars, and uh, you have to return it. The way I got it uh, with my stuff is I didn't put it. Yeah, you, you spend uh, eighty eight dollars in tax, so it comes to ninety dollars, and I say ninety also because I asked got the silicon case would cost. Two dollars thirty cents, ninety dollars, and you have to return it to the BOP Bureau of Prisons. And there's a separate package for that you have to pay for. What I did was I just wrapped it up, and I just put it in here, put the lid on it, and then they put this in a box and. Along with a shirt that I haven't seen in three years, which is weird. Um, it's like hey, when you haven't seen a shirt in three years, and then you got your shirt back. It's like wow. I mean, it doesn't stink. They didn't wash it, but it, does, it doesn't stink. But like wow, I haven't seen the shirt in like three in three years, and here it is. It's like, it's like wow. It's like, uh, it's like looking at baseball cards that you haven't looked at in twenty years. And it's on the perception level, but for every day in prison, it feels like three to five days. One day equals to three to five days. And that's all because of uh, perception. Uh, When you're, you're miserable and everybody else is miserable... And then there's those that want to, you know, because they're miserable, they want to make you, you know, your life even more miserable to make their life feel better because they want to bully you. It's, it's, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And I know I talk a lot, which is exactly, I mean, I can explain everything. And this, uh, attorney this is what they say shut the fuck up we don't want to hear it we don't care you're gonna go to prison we're not gonna defend you but what we're gonna do is you're gonna sign this paper and you're gonna shut up and whatever happens we're just gonna move on we're all gonna go home and then you you will do whatever and if you survive then you can start your life over but you're going to shut up and you're going to sign the paper cuz if you don't sign it come 3 o'clock the marshals are going to come for you because your bond will be uh, voided and you'll be waiting until you go to trial and I will not defend you so what's it going to be Sign the paper, stay on bond. There's a small chance you might get probation, 
which that that's not gonna happen now because he messaged me and he said I'm looking at minimum 30 months and he's trying to keep me in the state of Florida because it's gonna be a mental prison because of the way that the cops added in and the way that my mom helped add in like I, I told him why, you know, why don't you just piss test my mom and stepdad and the, this isn't about your mom and stepdad then why do you keep going to them asking them shit because every time it's just making my situation worse why do you keep doing that? Just shut the fuck up and sign it. And I can't get another quarter point because this is the second quarter pointed. This is the second quarter pointed. The first one... This this letter went to the judge on the first one because after... There's no justice in Florida. With a 100% 100% conviction rate. And if you challenge that, then... Alright, so maximum is five years. Oh no, they have every right to go outside the bracket and say life. So... And then I got yelled at. Oh, so you just decided to give up then? Uh, there is a lawyer that can help me. Ten thousand dollars can get my can get it, can get their, what they've done reversed and get me and get me placed in a different jurisdiction because I'm in the fourteenth judicial circuit. Whatever, I hope I'm saying that right. And in that circuit. There's no Fourth Amendment, and if you go to prison from that, there is no Eighth Amendment. And the Eighth Amendment states that you will not, there is no, you know, there there is no torture. There's no unreasonable torture. So I have no Fourth Amendment, and I have no Eighth Amendment. And after... Being convicted and going to prison, you have no First Amendment. Yeah, yeah, none of them. But as it is right now, I have no Fourth Amendment right right now. I'm not convicted yet. It's June eighteenth. Right now, I have no, I have no Fourth Amendment, and I have no Eighth Amendment. Look it up: Fourth Amendment and the Eighth Amendment. You know what? Where's my phone? Cause I'm using a I'm using the camera right now. Oh! oh I'm on my back. Yeah, this is my phone. What I'm using right now is a camera. My uh, Bucky. Oh man, I'm gonna miss him. Gene said that he's gonna kill. He's gonna put him down if, if I go to prison. What is the Fourth Amendment? According to Wikipedia, the Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution is part of the Bill of Rights that prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures. Yeah, they say I have no Fourth Amendment right, which allows, which is allowing them to their bullshit f falsified evidence on me that they contaminated while trying to say that it's mine. It, yeah, I have no Fourth Amendment right. What is the Eighth Amendment? According to Wikipedia, the Eighth Amendment of the United States Constitution prohibits the federal government from imposing excessive bail, excessive fines, or cruel and unusual punishments. Right there. Cruel and unusual punishments. So. And. Oh, forget it. I'm just going to end the video with this. The video is getting long and nobody gives a shit anyway. So, thank you, thank you for watching, and, uh, later.